Hey guys, this is Ruben, back with another installment of that rig show. Today you guys are in for a treat. Kemper have just revamped their entire delay section and have added a bunch of really cool useful algorithms to the bunch. Let me just show you just some of the algorithms that are available. Everything from simple from simple dual and uh, single delays to more complicated pitch shifting and filter delay algorithms. It really features everything you could desire in terms of delays. Now, as always, I've prepared a few, a few sounds to show you. You already heard a bit of the first one. Based around a Vox style edge of breakup amp. And um, I'm using just a simple one tap delay that I've filtered to sound a little bit like a tape delay. You can hear it has some significant high pass filter on it and some randomized modulation. And I'm using it, I'm, I set it up for a, for a dotted eighth note rhythm. That's that really cool vibey kind of ambience to it that a delay, the tape delay can give you. Um, let me take you to the next one. I've built this preset around a fairly clean basement amp and I'm using a crystal delay. Now, crystal, ice, halo, shimmer, different manufacturers use a lot of different names for this effect. What it is really, it's a pitch shifter being introduced into the delay line that takes a portion of the signal and shifts it up by a preset amount. In the algorithm of the Kemper, you can uh, you can set this pitch shift up in semitone steps anywhere between just one semitone to 36. So you have a range of three octaves up and the same range down. Um, for this sound, I'm using quite a bit of ambience on this sound. I've set the mix and the repeat fairly high. And I've introduced one octave up, and the way I like to set up these pitch shifting delays is to make that upper voice really subtle and just kind of keep it in the background so it, it melts with the original tone and the, and the non-pitch shifted delay tone instead of sounding like two elements, that way you get kind of one element, your original tone with a really cool ambience and just a, a bit of a sheen on the top. I'll show you this one. The trail of this, of this preset also features quite a bit of modulation on top. You can really kind of hear it flutter and kind of fly above my original sound. I've made a second sound around the crystal delay with a slightly more drastic effect. Um, it's still clean, it's a bit longer and more intense than the one I, I just showed you and it time features two octaves up. Now, Sticking to what I said before, I still like to keep it in the background and just have it add a bit of shimmer on top. And seeing how the two octaves are poke out way more of the mix than the one octave, I've turned down the mix a bit, I've also reduced the modulation, and it sounds something like this.
using another algorithm, I've programmed a really cool solo kind of kind of delay, employing what I would consider like a studio delay kind of trick, where um, you offset a stereo delay, where one delay line is panned to the, all the way to the right and one all the way to the left, and you center it around, let's say, I think the way I did it, yeah, I centered it around 500 milliseconds, and then I offset one side of that delay by, let's say, 20 milliseconds, and what it does, it, it, it kind of makes the two delays phase against each other, and it really widens the st spectrum a bit without being really obvious. Um, I'm doing this on a quite gainy lead sound. terribly long feedback it doesn't really get in the way of your playing it just gives a bit of air and by employing that slightly offset second delay time it widens it really spreads your sound out in the spectrum really cool. I got one more very dramatic delay effect in store for you this one is using another dual tap algorithm in the camber that is that puts the two delay lines in serial so they're not in parallel to each other not affecting one another they're now in serious so one delay gets fed into the into the second one and um, I've set up a cool swell preset with this one so it should sound something like, something like this <laughs> This one features a very long trail and very high amounts of feedback and I've also added very high amounts of modulation onto this trail to really kind of make it make it fly. Really sweet. The point of a delay like this is to to artificially sustain the sound that you're that you're swelling into so that the sound will seemingly last until the next swell comes in. So as I play a sound... You don't really hear me going back and turning the volume back to zero. It basically stands so that when I go from one, to, from, from, from one chord to another... feels like they just blend into each other and they give this cool washy pad type of effect. Yeah, that's some of the new really sweet delay algorithm scampers coming out with and um, I hope you enjoyed them. See you next time.